Hello and welcome STEM engineers. Today we are going to be listening to a story called Room on the Broom and then your challenge is going to be to design a broom that has enough room for all of the characters in the story. This can get a little tricky because as the story goes on we keep adding extra people to the broom. That's why the story is called Room on the Broom. So here is our story. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. The witch had a cap and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled her hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forests they flew, the dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed so loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low then said as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand in a fold on her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy, and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard the roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and which with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near, with a glint in his eyes, and said, Just this once I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads, and it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well, 
and while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Wow, that was a lot of characters that joined the witch along her journey. And what I love about this story is that she made room for them all. There was always room for another friend. And in the end, her friends helped save her. So it was a really good message. Now remember, your challenge today is to build a broom that has room for all of the characters in the story. Here's the one I built out of Legos. And these are the different seats for everybody on the broom. So starting in the front, I have a spot for the cat. And then I have a spot for the dog. And then I have a big chair for the witch. And then the frog can either sit here or I made this little attachment with a, I can pretend it's a pool for him. And then there's a spot for the bird as well. And this is just decoration for the end of my broom. Now remember you can build this out of any building material you want. I chose Legos because I had them around and they were pretty easy to use. You can even use recycling, connects, Legos, whatever you think will work to build a broom with enough room for all of our characters. All right, it's time for you to go get creative and come up with your room on the broom model.